Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Psychic deck. Now, Psychics are usually about two different things. They're usually about banishing and also things to have to do with life points, either paying life points or gaining back life points. And they also have a lot of different synchros that are very powerful. They have a lot of really cool effects. Um, so first off in this build, we have three Silent Psychic Wizards. The beater for this deck, 1900 attack. Very good effect, um, allowing it to kind of replace itself with a card from the graveyard, which is very, very nice um, once you lose him. Serene Psychic Witch, um, pretty similar effect, also kind of allowing her to replace him herself. Um, just a constant flow of your ability to get back monsters, which is really cool. And then we have Psychic Commander, so a three-star tuner, but its effect um, kind of makes it a 1900 attack three-star tuner because you can um, lower your opponent's attack and defense. So very, very nice card, um, and one of my favorite three-star tuners just overall. I really love its effect. And then Psychic Jumper, so a uh, two-star tuner, very powerful effect, uh, kind of just giving you a creature swap when you have it and another monster on the field. So very, very nice, and a two-star tuner on top of it. Then Grand Soil, so this is a very, uh, this is basically an Earth-based deck. Psychic monsters are pretty much mostly Earth. So Grand Soil, um, hard to get out, but with the graveyard manipulation and the con constant synchro summoning and things like that, um, you can set up your graveyard in a way that you can get them out pretty easily and then uh, summon more from the graveyard, which is really, really crazy. Very powerful um, in this deck. And then Giant Rat, because we have so many Earth Monsters and a lot of low attack Earth Monsters at that, you can search these guys out really nicely, uh, allowing you to set up what you need. And then one Rise Bell. Rise Bell is really, really good in this deck just because it gives you access to getting out those synchros just that much uh, more easily. Um, leads to some very powerful combos that your opponent will probably not expect. And then one Redox, just really good in this deck. Um, no reason not to run it. <laughs> just, you know, enabling you to set up your graveyard and, you know, bring out what you want. It's just really, really good. Um, with all Earth monsters, this will get used very easily. Overdrive Teleporter, um, its effect is really nice, just giving you access to some synchros very, very easily. Um, very hefty on the life point cost, but if you can set up good field situation, it'll be worth it. And then three emergency teleports, so just amazing card, um, giving you free synchros uh, very easily, uh, very nice. MST, Pot of Duality. Pot of Duality runs in the way of this deck a bit because there's a good amount of special summoning, but you still need some draw power, so definitely necessary in some cases. Miracle Synchro Fusion, um, so you're going to have a lot of synchroing and you know, chances are some of them are going to end up in the graveyard. So with this, you just have a really great thing you can do. You can bring out a super powerful monster, which I'll talk about uh, at the end. Then one Book of Moon, Creature Swap, good with some of these low attack monsters, uh, Dark Hole, and Mind Control with a synchro based deck. So for the traps, mostly staples, not too much to say, although we do have one Psychic Overload, which is really, really good card, um, allowing you to recycle your graveyard and then draw cards. It can run in the way of Grand Soil, but it's a really good way to recycle and, you know, get some draw power. So for the extra deck, uh, we're gonna have a variety of different levels, but we're gonna also have mostly the synchros that are brought up by this deck specifically, uh, which makes it very powerful. We're still going to have staples. So we have Ketastore. Then we have Magical Android. So a Psychic 5-star. Uh, very good attack. Very good uh, um, effect once you start swarming the field. And also on top of it, being a 5-star Psychic is important for some of the things you want to do with this deck. Uh, Black Rose, obviously. The two Naturas with an Earth-based deck. Great, you know, Synchros in general. Psychic Nightmare um, definitely has really good potential for having a lot of attacks, so a really nice 6-star. Uh, Psychic Life Transfer, really, really good for setting up your graveyard and gaining a ton of life points. That's a lot of life points you're getting back for this card. Its attack is pretty low, but it's still a pretty good card. And then one Scrap Dragon, one Thra Ruler Archfiend with a Psychic base deck. Uh, not the best effect, I'd say, but still, you know, decent effect. And then probably uh, one of my favorite Psychic Synchros, Hyper Psychic Blaster. So a 3,000 9-star Synchro that does piercing battle damage and also causes you to gain life points. That's kind of a staple for the higher level um, Synchros is they'll be doing stuff with your opponent's monsters that cause you to gain life points. So a very powerful card and not that hard to get out. Then we have a few 3-star uh, XYZs. Not many 4-stars in this deck. Um, you can put in 4-star XYZs. It's up to you. But I'm um, just having some 3-stars in this. So we have Zen Mains, uh, Leviar, and Soul of Silver Mountain. Then that very powerful fusion that I was talking about, Ultimate Axion Kicker. This card is very crazy. So 2,900 attack. 
uh, very nice. It can't be destroyed by card effects, which is really insane, you know, having this card that your opponent's going to have to, you know, power over with another card, which is very nice. It does piercing battle damage and causes you to gain life points. So very, very good card um, and very annoying for your opponent to deal with. Now for the side deck. Uh, side decks in my videos are not, it's not a side deck for matches. It's just kind of recommended cards that can also work when you're thinking about building the deck. So we have uh, Cree Bones, eh, kind of an interesting one, uh, lower le level Psychic, but it's a uh, dark type. Its effect is okay, but costs a lot of life points. I'm not a huge fan of it in this deck. Gigantus is actually a really good card in this deck because it's an easy beater that you can get out that you can also use for Grand Soil. So it's also it's up to you. It also destroys spell and traps, which can be a really annoying for your opponent to deal with. If you're running less traps, you're focusing more on a Grand Soil build, you're running more monsters, um, Gores can be a good choice. Uh, same thing with Trigodia. Neospacy and Grand Mole is also a really good card in this deck, um, an Earth Monster, and obviously a really good effect. Max C, also another interesting card for this deck. Max C is used in so many different decks, so it's really a personal choice, but in this deck it can be very helpful because it's an Earth Monster for Grand Soil. Mind Protector is another interesting one, just locking down your opponent, which is an interesting thing. There's a lot of cards that you can put in this deck that will do stuff with life points, so that's an interesting type of build you can look into. And then Overmine Archfiend, um, another kind of boss for the Psychic Monsters. The only problem with this is that it requires three monsters in order to get them out. Um, his effect is interesting, allowing you to swarm once he lo once he leaves the field, which is really uh, interesting. But the problem is it's only when he goes back to the graveyard, and most people will probably like bounce this or banish it or something. You can also put in more XYZs. I talked about you can put in four star XYZs if you want. Like I said, not currently what I'm doing. You can put in six star XYZs. Also a choice with how this deck runs. You can get six stars out pretty easily. There's a few different psychic spells you can use. Uh, telekinetic power while while is an interesting one. Um, if you're running more low level psychics, psychokinesis is an interesting one. Costs a lot of life points, but allows you to kind of destroy cards that you need to. Forbidden lance could be good for protecting some of your more powerful monsters. Mind Over Matter is just a counter trap that uh, Psychics have access to. Royal Decree, again if you're running a more Grand Soil build, you'll probably want to run like Trap Stunner Royal Decree. And finally, um, the field card for Psychics Brain Research Lab can be really good if you're doing things with a lot of life point um, costs. Obviously some of this deck has some life point costs with it, so this can be an interesting card. It also allows you to swarm in addition. It can really hurt you later on in the duel though. So that's my Psychic deck, uh, pretty fun to play. It's been around for a while. There's a lot of different builds for it, but I personally find a build like this that kind of mixes up what it can do with synchroing and life points and also Grand Soil. Uh, gives you some chances for a lot of different things you could do. But if you guys have your own Psychic deck, be sure to post below, let me know in the comments, make suggestions for cards you want to see in my deck and that kind of thing. But thank you guys for watching, I'll see you later.